Today, I'm continuing the mini-series on how to write a conclusion for your essay. If you have not watched part one, because they build off each other, pause this video, click on the link above, and then come back to this video once you're done. So this is kind of like the beginning of the end. Exactly, you are so close to finishing. The goal of this video is to help you summarize the main ideas of your essay and then tell the reader why it matters. So let's get started. Like you saw in part one, you start off your conclusion by restating your thesis. The goal of that is to remind the reader the main argument of your essay. Next, in your summation, you'll summarize the main points you just argued in your essay to prove that your thesis is correct. Basically, all the reasons you're right and the other side is wrong. For example, let's say that in addition to your introduction paragraph, you have four body paragraphs in your essay. To write your conclusion, you'll reread each paragraph and then summarize the main ideas from each paragraph in about one to three sentences. You're basically reminding the reader of your most important arguments. Could I just take the topic sentence from each paragraph and use that for my summation? No, it's bigger than that. The goal is to summarize the main idea of the entire paragraph, not just the first sentence. Basically pull out the major themes and ideas from that paragraph that tell the reader why you're right. I don't know if I need to say this, but I will anyways. You're just summarizing the information in your body paragraphs, not your introduction. Now let's look at an example. Here's one of my body paragraphs where I show how great Batman is by the fact that he created a new weapon to defeat Superman. When looking at your paragraph, you want to ask yourself, what's the main idea? As I asked that question, I realized the focus of this paragraph is not really on the fact that Batman can beat Superman in a fight. I want to focus on the idea that being a hero is not just about having superpowers or big muscles, but it's on something deeper. Look at Batman. He doesn't have any powers, but he's creative and uses his own intelligence to solve the problem. It's more than just summarizing what you said in each paragraph, but really focusing on what argument you're trying to make. For my example, I could say something like this. Rather than rely on their strength, a true hero like Batman, is able to defy great odds when faced with his weakness. Unlike Superman, there's more to Batman than just big muscles. He uses his intelligence and creative genius when faced with the impossible. In this summation, I not only talk about how Batman is a true hero, but why Superman is not. I think we can both agree, Superman, not that great. Notice I'm not adding any new ideas or information that I didn't already state in my paragraph. And that was only one paragraph. To continue writing my summation, I'm gonna read the rest of my paragraphs and then summarize the main ideas. When I'm finished, my restated thesis and my summation should look something like this when put together. It's important to know that the length of your essay or paper will determine the length of your summation. Because a summation is a summary of the essay, so if the essay is longer, the summation will be longer. And if it's too long, you can just turn your conclusion into two paragraphs. But keep in mind, your summation is a summary, so it should be short. If you found anything of value so far in the video, Smash the like button, hit subscribe, and now let me show you how to end your essay with a mic drop. In your mic drop, this is where you tell the reader why what you're saying matters. Why should they care about this information and how do you want them to respond? You can end your essay in a variety of ways. Let me show you. One, a call to action. Do you want your reader to do something? For example, let's say you're writing an essay on the importance of taking care of the environment. You can end your essay by calling your reader to start a recycling program in their own community. Two, Call them to reflect. Is there something you want the reader to think deeply about? For example, in my essay, it's bigger than Batman. What I really want the reader to do is reflect on what a true hero is. Three, maybe your goal is to change their mind. This is the goal of any argumentative essay. In my example, yes, I want you to reflect on what a great hero is and try to become one, but I also want you to know that Batman is the greatest and I want you to agree with me. Four, you can use the end of your essay to inspire or encourage your reader. Yes, you want them to agree with you, but also leave with a sense of hope and passion after reading your essay. In my example, I'm trying to inspire my reader to be a hero in their daily life by reflecting on what it means to be a true hero. And hopefully they walk away knowing that Batman is the best example of that. I think you convinced me. Are there any more of those Batman shirts? You can take a look at my mic drop right here. Let me point out something that's really important. Let's actually take a look at my hook which is the beginning of my entire essay. My goal as a writer is to connect the beginning and the end of my essay. A great mic drop will come full circle and connect back to the hook of your essay, which is why I suggest you write your hook and mic drop at the same time after you've written your entire essay. Because we all know the best endings of any movie or TV show are the ones that make us think, wait, how do they do that? And make us go back and rewatch it time and time again. Your mic drop should be written in such a way that it makes a reader go back and reread 
the rest of your essay. Now let's take a look at my full conclusion. This is my conclusion if I write it as one paragraph. After I wrote my conclusion, I went back and reread it and then took out a ton of ideas. My focus here was keeping it short and simple. Now take a look at what it looks like as two paragraphs. In this example, think of your conclusion as less of a paragraph and more of the last section of your essay. You can see I restated my thesis in red, my summations in green, and then in pink is my mic drop. If you actually wanna read both of these examples, in the video description, I include resources in order for you to do that. Let's review, revise, and edit our conclusion paragraph. When writing your summation, ask yourself these questions. What's the main idea of each paragraph? Do you add any new information? Which again, don't do that. What are the main reasons you're right? And also, what are the main reasons the other side is wrong? When reviewing your mic drop, ask these questions. How can you connect your hook and mic drop together? Are you trying to call them to action, reflect, convince them of something, or inspire them? Is it one of those or all of them? And lastly, check your spelling and grammar. And we are finished. We made it. Well, I guess you still have to write your essay. But now it's time for the conclusion of our video on conclusion paragraphs. Like I said before, check out the video description down below for free resources. Do you see what is happening right now? What's happening? This is my call to action. Like the video, hit subscribe, adios.